What's up, my friends? Welcome to Tuesday, November 23rd, 2021. There'll never be another day, not exactly like today, not a November 23rd, 2021. So if today is special and you're special, then you got to connect the two specials to create an ultimate special, right? So you got to get out here into this special world and make it more special, my friend. That is your challenge for the day, right? And I got a great message for you today. Great message. But first, I got a question to ask you, right? This message goes out to everyone. Now, we all have problems, strengths, and weaknesses, insecurities, and fears, and all of that, right? But this message goes out to everyone that can't seem to get over their insecurities. This message goes out to everyone who, even in the midst of having fun, that thought of your insecurity still make itself visible and ruins your fun in the midst of why you're having it. You could be in the middle of laughing and in the middle of that laugh, you think about one of your insecurities and that turns that smile upside down. This message is for you, my friend, right? This message is for you. Here's the thing, right? You got to get in the game. And here's what you got to do. You got to stop allowing your insecurities, right? To keep you on the sideline. And this is what you got to know about insecurities, right? Insecurities are very selfish and also very clever. And here's how. Because insecurities force you to focus on them with all of your time. It forces you to spend all of your time focusing on them. That's how selfish and slick and clever they are, right? But here's the hard truth about your insecurities, right? Nobody cares about your insecurities. You know why? Because they're too busy trying to hide their own, right? And here's three reasons why you, yes, you, you got to get in the game, my friend. Number one, here, I'm sorry to break this to you, but here's the hard truth. If you don't force yourself to take that first step and to really just go for it, unfortunately, my friend, you will never get it. That's just how it goes. You gotta take the first step, my friend. And number two, the moment you stop allowing yourself to be a slave to other people's perception is the moment you stop allowing yourself to be bullied by your own insecurities, right? And number three, you gotta develop a greatness mindset a mind bold enough to believe, right? That insecurities always hang out with your fears. You won't find one without finding the other. And here's why insecurities have to hang out with fears, right? Because fear is the biggest coward you'll ever meet. It's almost like a mouse. Fear is like a mouse. The same thing that you're afraid of, right? Is also afraid of you. So here's the thing about fear. Fear really don't want you ever to step up to it. That's why it leaves insecurities to hold you up. They don't want you to get past the insecurities because the fear realizes, right? That if you're able to get past your insecurities, then you're gonna stand face to face with your fears and you will win. So that's why it leaves all the insecurities so it can hold you up and you too intimidated. You're too afraid to even step up to the fear. It's almost like a deer being stuck in the headlights. See, that deer never even thinks twice that all they have to do in order not to lose their life, in order not to get hit by the car, is simply move. See, but the fear of the glaring lights keeps them stuck in their tracks. It wants you to be inactive, and that's what your fear wants you to be, inactive. Make a liar out of your fear and get started right now. Keep moving, keep pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus, my friend. Never, ever, ever forget, right? That you were born to be great.